Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you the latest version of iTunes 11.1 is available and you can download and install. I got this pop-up when I plug my iDevice into computer. So at this pop-up, you can click on download iTunes. Click on this, you can choose both iTunes 11.1.0, which is a 99.21 MB, iCloud control panel, which is 43.82. So if you want to see more information about this new release, you can scroll down, click on install. You need to accept. Installation will start first downloading this 43.70 MB iCloud control panel, almost close to 43 MB, and then start installing it, version 3.0. Now it switched to iTunes 11.1.0 of 99.21 MB. It gets down based on your internet speed that takes some time you need to sit for a while and into installing phase now you can see there is a pop-up with information to finish installing the software you need to restart your computer click s to restart now or no if you plan to manually restart it later since i have my other programs running and it's not that mandatory to restart i can click no over here that's it you have completed your itunes 11.1 the latest version installation open start type itunes the very first one open it wait for a couple of seconds to get it loaded. This is the first time you are opening the latest version. You can click do not show this message again. The message is iTunes has detected that it is not the default player for the audio file. Would you like to get to the default program like control panel to fix this? Anyway, we are not interested in that. So click no. Maximize this. Now this is going to back up your iPod for the first time. If you have an iPhone, the iPhone data. Now you are done and able to use the latest version. Now you can open the hidden menu by clicking alt in your keyboard and click help about itunes now you can see itunes 11.1.0.126 the latest version you can close this and use your itunes wanted to see more such videos please subscribe this channel